right after a long week at work and so I got to work this weekend but you know I still want to get a little bit done so we're gonna go ahead and get started on doing some rear bars so pretty much got the funny car portion fit up like we talked about last time however I got my new seat in and it's gonna take a little bit of massaging to make everything fit right I don't need to touch those I don't need to touch those bars there however some of my gussets and all are kind of interfering a little bit so so I really don't have any energy to do that this weekend or right now because that requires me for seat mounting I need to put my steering column back in and my pedals and all sorts of stuff shifter just to make sure that I'm in the most comfortable position because you don't want to just mount your seat all willy nilly so what we're going to do today as you saw in a previous video we plated these shock towers so up front I'm going to make a bar going here to here then I'm going to come off with an inch and five eighths chromoly to make a parachute mount here through my previous parachute mount hole right so that'll work this is just kind of the part of the old bar that used to go through i'm gonna create a whole new bar because my old one kind of sat way back up inside of there and it was a pain in the butt to tighten the bolt and all so i'm gonna make that sit a little bit better this this go around um and then it's just gonna be making the bars that go down from the main hoop I'm gonna go ahead and get this first bar cut and go from there so my goal is to make it to where i can do this bar, have it all tacked up, pull it out, finish weld everything around, and then put it back in. Because uh, that will make things a lot easier when it comes to that. Okay, so got it fit pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and get a tack on it so I can fit the rest of the bars. And then we'll cut the tacks, weld everything, and then retap. Sound like a plan? Cool. Get that cut the length, get that up, fit the rest of our bars here. Before I cut this off, I want to go ahead and notch this and then set everything at a right angle and then mark where I'm going to cut it. So I need to notch that in with the engine 5 8 since we're going to engine 5 8 and we'll go from there. produces just look at it for a second all right okay. you can stop looking at it okay so I got a good little bit of weld on everything there and I'm gonna take it off now and I cut my tacks I'm gonna mark where I was cut my tacks and then I can actually uh, finish welding up actually over on my welding table and that way the welds will look much better than what I got right now Okay, so this is all welded now. I put it back over here. 
and uh, now I've just got to clean up the bottom side down there a little bit and then I can get to tacking this in doing it by myself let's see how this works right oh here's the case Check ourselves here. Decently level. Looks like we're in the same spot for the most part. I think we're pretty good. Let's look at the back. Then we'll get to taking this up. Let's look out here. Looks to be all good out the back there. Line up with all of our marks. We can get the ticket. a new day now um, now it's cold thanks to Virginia weather it's 85 degrees one day and 55 the next time to get our rear bars um, you can see where I left a little bit of the weld of the old one just because I didn't want to go under the size of my tubing once it's painted and windows are in you're never gonna see that really um, now rear bars got to be inch and 5 8 083 so chromoly so I really wanted to come out here as far as possible uh, however, I really don't want to get myself in a bind here where I can't like weld right, right down in there because you really can't get the TIG torch. You got to think about stuff like that. So I'm going to probably come back about four inches here or maybe even a little bit less. So somewhere in here and then see where that squares up to up there. Uh, that's why I cleaned off a lot of paint up there so that we are good and we'll make sure that we are symmetrical between the two. Um, before anything, I got to just measure up some stuff and get some bars cut. And the notching and all should be pretty dang simple here because, well, it should be straight. I tried to make it all straight. Let's we'll see. I'm gonna come out. Mm, yeah, four inches should be fine. So I'm gonna come out four inches here. Center of notch to center of notch. I'm gonna be 40 and three quarter. Depends on which way you look at it. I guess. I'm gonna say it's gonna be 40 and three quarters center of notch to center of notch. I know that's not completely straight. But that looks about right. So I'm gonna cut it to 42 and a half. We got plenty of extra and don't ruin a whole bunch. see that is a nice snug fit I could probably be there in the place but you see it's not going all the way down it's not straight yet so I want to and uh, let me try to beat it a little bit and see 
because once it comes across that pendulum a little bit it's going to be uh, a tight fit up so because I can see on the other side it is fitting so let me uh let me beat that a little bit and see what happens I just don't want to get it stuck we've got good fit up everywhere that bar really didn't take long to make and I think the only reason this is hanging off is because it's holding on to that old weld a little bit so I really like the way that fits I'm gonna mark it clean everything up except for my mark <laughs> and uh, yeah I think we're good that's gonna be fairly easy to weld and it ties right into your support there so that gives extra support so kind of like it all right so now we're going to try to fit this bar on the other side and see what's up So, back from eating some lunch, let's go home and make us a new bar, because I just wasted this. It's long enough you can still reuse it or something, I guess. Kind of sucks, but part of life, that's why I bought extra tubing, right? some holes in these tubes for vents and get the weld. Okay, so that is my rear bars and parachute mount completely done you can see a little bit of my welds there fumbled up in a couple places but you know I think it looks good overall these bars are straight and be plenty safe tied into the chassis well <laughs> and uh, let me just give you a open my garage door so we can do a overview so as of right now Everything that's on the chassis is finished welded. And rear bars, parachute mount, uh, half of the driver compartment done. So I still gotta do this area, right? And then all the stuff in the back. And then the diagonals and a couple little uh, gussets. I also have all those whole gussets with holes in them to do like to the chassis and stuff to make all this stiffer and tie the cage in and but before I do anything else, I actually want to get my seat in here. So I have a fancy new seat back there, which y'all will see in the next video. And it, it's big, I'm not gonna lie, but it's more safe than the rest of the seats out there that most of us use in our drag cars. So um, let me open the garage door here so y'all can get a good view of everything that's going on here. 
is my labyrinth of welding equipment back. Okay. I'll do my best to hold this camera steady. guys for today and join me next time we'll be mounting the uh basically nascar seat i've got for this thing and uh really hope you guys like this video and please uh like comment and subscribe let me know what you like let me know what you didn't like thanks have a good day